First Defender plug-in hybrid, new Defender P400E is the most powerful and fuel efficient Defender with 404 PS, 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.4 seconds and 85.3 MPG. 2021 Land Rover Defender gets some updates including shorter 90 model. Land Rover will throw a few key updates at the 2021 Defender even though the reborn off-roader has only been on sale for less than a year. Hello everyone. My name is Ian Gray and I'm the manager for Powertrain Advanced Engineering for the new Land Rover Defender. I'm here to tell you all about the latest powertrain news from our toughest and most capable 4x4. When we launched new Defender at the Frankfurt Motor Show last year, we announced a choice of a powerful and efficient petrol and diesel engines. Now, approaching a year later, and with new Defender 90 and 110 body styles both in production, it's time to talk to you about some exciting new additions to the powertrain story. For 21 model year, the new Defender truly does provide a powertrain to suit every need. Back in Frankfurt last year, we confirmed that a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle was very much part of the Defender plan, and today I can tell you more about the most efficient Defender Land Rover has ever produced. You're all familiar with the technology in our P400e, but I'll be able to tell you about its application in new Defender and how it provides customary Defender capability and the ability to complete short journeys in zero emissions EV mode. I can also tell you about how we have applied our state-of-the-art inline six-cylinder Ingenium diesel engine to Defender. We recently revealed details of our straight six diesel family in the Range Rover Sport and Range Rover models. Now, new Defender customers will get to feel the benefits of our advanced diesel. And of course, I'll recap the Ingenium petrol options available to complete the picture. The biggest news today though, is the introduction of our P400e plug-in hybrid, which is now available to order on Defender 110 models. The strong and durable D7X architecture was designed to support our PHEV technology from the very beginning, and its arrival makes the prospect of silent, zero emissions journey a reality. In EV mode, new Defender can drive up to 27 miles using solely electric power, and the Clever technology provides overall CO2 emissions of 74 grams per kilometre and fuel consumption of 85.3 miles per gallon, or just 3.3 litres per 100 kilometre. How does the system work? Well, up front, there's a lightweight 2-litre, 4-cylinder Ingenium petrol engine which produces 300 PS. Combined with a 105 kilowatt electric motor, it produces a total maximum combined power output of 404 PS, and peak torque of 640 newton meters. It's worth noting here, because the motor provides the maximum torque from zero RPM, it makes it perfect for supporting low speed maneuvers on and off road. The motor is powered by a 19.2 kilowatt hour prismatic cell lithium ion battery mounted beneath the boot floor of the 110. For this reason, the Defender 110 P400E is only available in five or six seat configurations. To keep the battery charged up, the onboard seven kilowatt charger is fed from the plug-in point, which is located on the opposite side of the vehicle to the conventional fuel filler. During driving or under braking, the hybrid powertrain can also recover electrical energy from the electric motor and recharge the battery. All of this technology works seamlessly and delivers customary Land Rover all-terrain capability. On road, the Defender can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 5.4 seconds. Off road, it delivers the unstoppable go anywhere performance that's already a hallmark of new Defender. When it comes to charging, there are, as you'd imagine, plenty of options. Using the standard Mode 3 cable and a 7 kilowatt public or domestic wall box, the 19.2 kilowatt hour battery can be charged to 80% in as little as two hours. If you don't have access to a wall box, an 80% charge using a standard 3-pin socket and Mode 2 cable takes 7 hours. And finally, using a DC rapid charger will get you to 80% in just 30 minutes, so customers can easily make the best use of its all-electric capability with even the shortest time available between top-ups. 
Lights alongside the plug-in point on the vehicle give customers a quick visual status check on charging. And if you can't see the vehicle, our remote app technology allows customers to keep tabs on New Defender wherever they are. It allows you to check the charging status, the level of remaining charge, and how far that will get you. You can also lock and unlock the vehicle and precondition the cabin temperature ahead of journeys in hot or cold weather to make sure New Defender is the perfect temperature at the start of every trip. The good news about this technology is that when plugged in, the preconditioning uses the energy supply rather than the battery. So you begin your journey at the perfect temperature without compromising your EV driving range. Once you're on the move, drivers can choose how to deploy the electric energy stored in the battery with three different modes. Hybrid mode is the default driving mode and combines electric and petrol power for optimum efficiency on any journey. This can be combined with a predictive energy optimization feature which uses navigation information to help choose the most efficient route and then automatically selects the most efficient powertrain mix during your journey. Save mode maintains the battery charge level so the driver can choose to use it at a specific point on the journey, for instance, when driving into urban areas. And the big benefit of PHEV technology is the ability to undertake shorter journeys using solely electric power. In EV mode, New Defender can drive up to 43 kilometers or 27 miles using silent zero emissions electric power at speeds up to 85 miles per hour. The great news for customers is that none of this compromises New Defender's unstoppable off-road credentials. The hybrid can wade to depths of 900 millimeters, just like the rest of the lineup, and can tow up to 3,000 kilograms. New Defender P400E can also be driven in low range gears in full EV mode, making full use of the instant torque provided by the electric motor. As a result, it's one of the few 4x4s capable of low range, zero emissions driving. On road, the new P400E accelerates from 0 to 100 km per hour in 5.6 seconds, or 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.4 seconds making it the fastest accelerating Defender in the range. The new P400E isn't the only powertrain I'm here to talk about because new Defender also benefits from our latest 3-litre straight-six diesels. The RDE2 certified Euro 6D final compliant engines meet the most stringent global emission standards and feature state-of-the-art mild hybrid electric vehicle or MHEV technology to enhance refinement, efficiency and response. Our MHEV system harvests energy usually lost when slowing down and stores it in a 48 volt battery under the rear floor of the vehicle. This energy is then redeployed to provide torque assistance during stop-start driving or under acceleration, providing smoother, cleaner and more economical driving. Our MHEV system is just one of the technological enablers here. In common with our other Ingenium petrol and diesel engines, the new six-cylinder diesel feature a raft of innovations to improve efficiency. Lightweight aluminium construction reduces weight, while a pair of close coupled series sequentially arranged turbos maximize the heat delivered to the after treatment to reduce warm up times, optimizing efficiency. Variable nozzle turbo technology means the engines can deliver 90% of peak torque in just over a second at 2000 RPM. The fuel system has also been optimised. It operates at up to 2,500 bar and delivers up to 5 injections per cycle with quantities as small as 0.8 milligrams delivered in 12 microseconds. And to put that in perspective, a human eye takes 350,000 microseconds to blink. The straight 6 diesel also share the low friction design of our other Ingenium engines and includes state-of-the-art steel pistons, which also contribute to efficiency. Customers can choose between a D200, D250 and D300 version of the new engine, and all three have been designed, developed and engineered in the UK, and will be exclusively produced at our engine manufacturing centre in Wolverhampton. The D200 develops an impressive 500 Newton metres of torque, 
and produces CO2 emissions as low as 226 grams per kilometre for the 90, while the D300 develops 650 newton metres of torque and powers the Defender from 0 to 100 kph in 6.7 seconds. All of the new inline six cylinder diesels are partnered with our new intelligent drive line, which continually varies axle torque based on sensor data from the vehicle surroundings and from driver inputs. It distributes engine torque between the axles as required, optimizing the drive line for traction, on road dynamics, and drive line efficiency, resulting in enhanced fuel economy and reduced CO2 emissions all without sacrificing any of the Defender's inherent off-road capability. Now, I've spoken about bringing our hybrid P400E powertrain to Defender for the first time, and I've told you how our latest generations of inline six-cylinder Ingenium diesels bring new levels of performance, efficiency and refinement to our toughest model, but they're not the only options available. Customers can still choose from a pair of efficient Ingenium petrol engines, the P300 four-cylinder and P400 six-cylinder MHEV engines combine refined performance and efficiency to deliver trademark Defender capability across all terrains. So, there you have it. New Defender is available with a powertrain to suit every requirement. Our P400E hybrid brings the prospect of silent, zero-emission driving to Defender for the first time and our advanced new six-cylinder diesels provide more choice and efficiency than before, whilst meeting the world's toughest emission standards. They help to cement the Defender's status as an unstoppable 4x4 and deliver the toughness and capability associated with Defender. These vehicles are available to order now. Thank you for listening.